Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, as the US episode number, what is this, 66 now? Too many. Um, we gotta wrap this up. But I want to do two things first. I want to take Guadalcanal, and I want uh, to, you know, do the shore bombardment of Cape Gloucester, because I think it's kind of an interesting side mission that we've assigned ourselves, and let's follow through. Um, I want the focus from here on, whether it's one more episode or two, uh, I want the focus to be on moving troops around uh, the high level. I don't even want to destroy destroyers. How do we do that? I think the best way to do that is to put submarines out to get our submarines into position. I read one, one comment that said that if you just put a, several submarines in the same area, the destroyers will oscillate between them or bounce around. If that's true, that would be amazing. I, I kind of want to create like a destroyer trap, the same way you might get like a bug trap and just have the destroyers all you know, conglomerate around these just submarines in some horribly like offensive to my eyes way in some sense like a terrible AI. I hope that terrible AI exists though because it'll prevent me sorry excuse me it won't prevent me from advancing the game. Speaking of advancing the game let's get going. So what do we have? Convoy Uncle is going with um, looks like a lot of supplies yeah, going with a lot of supplies. Um, we have this with some troops and supplies. And we have some troops and supplies and fuel engineering here. So let's create maybe one more task force. We have tons of points where we can just get a bunch of convoy ships, which will probably take up all of our points. Um, look at, I mean, we just don't need surface combat ships at this point. We have the two carriers, which is honestly the best we're gonna be able to do is, I mean, the carriers do all the work, right? If we could make new carriers, if we could build new carriers, or bring in new carriers into the into the um, map, then that would be really interesting. We would be saving points for that, but we can't, right? So unfortunately, Yorktown is unavailable, and the other two carriers are all we have for now. So uh, what? We're just going to spend points on doing transport for the last bit, and basically, did I not do this? I wanted to have enough points for. Guadalcanal. I might just cheat in the remaining points, but let's just create a convoy to do this, at least in theory. I'm going to create a convoy to to escort. Uh, yeah, so we want probably only one destroyer. I don't. I think we don't really need destroyers, you know. There's just <laughs> there's no threats. We're not being attacked, so I'm just going to leave one just because it'll save points, and then take a uh, one, two. Three, four, and let's get, we actually need four of these as well, which is a horrible waste, but whatever. And I'll, I'll maybe I should just do three, remove this, just for fun. We'll just do 300 and 300 and then take supplies and troops on the McDonald. So this is it. This is what I'll make my fleet. This is going to be 91 points. It'll save some points for getting another battleship if we want. Um, I think this is good. So done. This will be convoy. Uh, what are we at? T R. Uh, convoy rabbit. Who cares? I don't think that that's the designation. Correct designation. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Put troops on here. Put supplies on one of them, and then let's get. Oops. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we'll, we'll get some amount of stuff over to um, Guadalcanal right away. And we'll be just trying to build up the air base so we get the victory condition. And I will cheat in the rest. I mean, basically, it's like brain dead tasks we don't really care about. It's unfortunately going to take quite a while for this to arrive there. But we'll just do this as a first path. So you actually need yours updated. I assume that you're going this way. It's a good path. Just send you this way. What are you taking? Troops, supplies, troops yet? Oh, you do have engineering and all that. So you you are a good target for Guadalcanal. Or I could also cheat in Russell Island. I guess we don't really need the port for refits at this point. It, does, it just doesn't matter, right? Um, all our resupplies are technically coming from New Hebrides. So that's the place where we're going to get engineering and fuel. But I'll be cheating in whatever I need at this point anyway. Okay, let's move forward. So the point will be to just simply avoid combat <laughs> for almost everyone. So that means we're going to move a lot of things back. Now, if they get too far, we won't have the means of doing that. We will not be able, you know, we're not going to allow them to 
go back all the way down here. But <clears throat> I wouldn't mind even seeing if they try to invade. I mean, with a bunch of destroyers, they, can, they can't do like a sizable invasion, but we also don't have very many troops on these places. So uh, they can't do much, but maybe let's just see what they do. And we'll have time to react before something is actually done. That seems dangerous. Well, that seems dangerous. <laughs> these all th these things all seem very dangerous. I'm just gonna keep running away. But what is this? Five destroyers, I guess. Okay, so we'll, we'll break my immediately. I'll just break whatever I said I was gonna do. I just would rather deal with these not in a surface fight. So let's go just bombard them. Okay, they, they did stop, so it doesn't look like they're going to pursue us all the way down. Just do this pretty quickly, though. Um, first things first. We'll still do this. Break. Vic, form up. Ah, the Gato's in here, too. Okay, there's the... Whatever, let's just identify one. Go. We'll, we'll go with two here. Nope, two's a small one, but... Let's go with five then, maybe? Yeah, okay, let's take out five. All right, this looks like, um, well, it's the one that doesn't have the super firing rears, so it's unique, but it's not the Tonate. Do you remember back in this series when we used to have heavy cruisers around? Those were the days. Unfortunately gone are those days, so I'm sure it's who you. Identify, and let's just overkill the crap out of this thing. Go! 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 And go! There we go. Going on in. Some more forming up late. Doesn't matter. It's almost going to be formed up by the time it gets there. I assume that we will get a complete kill on this thing. Yeah, they're... Aircraft fire did not start until pretty late. Obviously a good thing for us. Some people are taking some damage. Bombs are dropping. Yeah, this is gonna be a kill. Do we all get away? Maybe. I'm good. Alright. Get ready to leave. She already looks like she's sunk. Did she say, ah, yeah, she did. Oh, that's crazy. It gave me the opportunity to leave at zero, and then it changed its mind. Okay, so I think this is a good plan for us, by the way, though. I think that, yeah, we just kind of quickly speed through these. Um, knowing that this destroyer fleet's going to go back west is fine. Uh, let me just cut. Even the 10 seconds, not worth it. Confirm. There we go. Another ship down. Okay, so RTB, and we're on the way. Let's just get ASW to precede our carriers. And I think that there is another destroyer group that we've killed almost all of, but not quite all of, right? Somewhere around here. Probably should be patrolling for it. Just go out as far as you can, who cares? getting better at this. That was a kind of a waste. It's going over the island. You never know. Maybe they turned east. Or maybe they didn't turn east. Let's go see if any of those find it. Okay, they went over here, but they turned back. Well, it didn't actually catch them in that last wave. So you guys are... Oh, wow. You're just charging on in. But it's nighttime now, so we do want to charge in. In fact, damn it, that you guys stopped early. Five hours, okay, that's fine. The good news is that we shouldn't, it shouldn't matter too much that these guys take five hours to get in and get out. <laughs> the battleships are the one leading the way. Um, the reason why I don't think it's a big deal is because uh, we, there won't be an air, air force able to counterattack us, supposedly. So, oh, and you guys are ready to go. Cool, let me get another landing here. So, let's manage cargo. I mean, things are starting to speed up. I just want to get the troops on the ground first. I don't know if it matters, but okay, it's under our control. And let's drop off 2,000 supplies. 
and I also will take back some of those troops. So we'll drop down 4,000 supplies, and let's take off the troops. Good, so 1,000, 4,000, this is good. So Vela Vela will be our forward staging area for any future combat. Uh, and then we'll take the 250 and we'll just run back and you know keep leapfrogging back. <laughs> Backwards leapfrogging in this case. Okay, so we'll be able to go take that under cover of dark as well. Um, you're here, so what are you trying to do? Just drop off supplies, I believe? Yeah, you have 6,000 supplies. I'm going to drop all those off here because we are eventually, supposedly, going to want to build up a base here. And we have 25,000 supplies on Guadalcanal. Now, interestingly enough, um, they have 5,000 supplies I've seen from the editing the save game file. I wonder how, do you, do you take any of those? I'm okay with um, two scenarios, basically. I'd be okay if you completely destroy those supplies and those are just eliminated, zeroed, when the enemy is lost. I'm also okay with the opposing team taking something between zero and half of the supply. You can think of this as some of the rations, some of the, you know, but none of the ammunition, a lot of the stuff will not be, will not carry over. So I think the 50% of supply is probably the most you'd be able to get away with. But I, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to think of from a game design perspective, what is that number? Um, I would say a quarter, maybe a quarter is okay. I'm not sure if that's what everyone would agree on, but that's, that's what I've come up with. Okay, so we have you, you're now basically useless, so we can send you home. The weird thing about sending you home is that, honestly, I don't think you'll get home before the end of the game. So there's some merit in just saying, um, stick around here and I can use you to transport things around from place to place. But at the same time, I mean, maybe I should stick around with Guadalcanal. Maybe, so let's just move back to Guadalcanal, because like, I don't think... You might be able to get back to New Hebrides before the war's end, but you definitely won't be getting back um, all the way to uh, from New Hebrides back over here. <laughs> That'll take too long. Okay, and you're going back for reinforcement. Okay, so now we just have short bombardment we want to worry about. And that was the main mission. We had this plan for a long time. Let's get this done. Two hours left before your arrival. Yeah, not worried about that. We can't launch anything right now anyway. But the destroyers are not bothering us, which is nice. Okay, so we just kind of look at the map, advance time as quickly as possible. Thankfully, these destroyers are kind of stuck in some oscillation pattern. Looks like the first of our fleet is arriving at Cape Gloucester. We can say that the battleship, and this is, a little, this is backwards, but I'm going to pretend that the, we knew the way was clear. And these guys were um, clearing the way in case that there was a Congo we didn't know about, even though we've sunk all of them. All right, let's do this short bombardment. Okay, we have completely run out of ammunition for 16-inch shells. And I don't know, what did that do? We were, it was at four, it's down to two. Yeah, so it is every other, maybe battleships are more effective. That was very effective. Let's head this way. 12 hours before we get there, which means in about six hours or nine hours or so, we should be out of basic strike range. We'll at least be in um, friendly coverage range. You know, there's cons, like the stuff we're talking about is so interesting. It just shows you that the potential of this game is immense. And there is another game, this hex-based game that uh, this reminds me of, was the carrier, um, carrier, Attack Force 4, or whatever it was called, um, which I think is based on the board game carrier or something, something. Anyway, the, uh, there's one where it's, it's kind of like the hex-based war game equivalent of this, uh, low-tech. Uh, but already getting them down to an airbase of two means that we don't have to worry about Cape Gloucester. The fact that we have two heavy cruisers moving in to do this the rest of the attack, it almost makes me wonder if we should only use one of them leave one hanging down over here or something, and then do uh, a night assault against Cape Hoskins tomorrow night, uh, so that we can get, we'd actually be able to take out Cape Hoskins down to like a level three. But that's gonna require like a lot of work and I'll, oh, oh, we're done. Another one ready to go. So 
So boy, as far as productivity goes, this has been a very productive episode. Just drop off whatever supply we have, which is a thousand. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know if I planned that, but boy, that worked out perfectly. Okay, and hopefully these will become my color as soon as I select it there. All right, now you are completely free of anything to do, so head back out. How about not down the slot, just because it's a little more dangerous. And we'll head you this way. I don't know exactly what you'll do, but we have 10 hours before you reach that point, which means I have 10, 10 hours to decide what to do with you. And I was really hoping, by the way, that Guadalcanal would fall. They only have 70 troops. I think they have 70 troops left. So if that survives another day, I'll be um, a little disappointed. But we're moving quickly enough now. It's been 15 minutes. We, I mean, we haven't gone 24 hours yet. So hopefully we can take Guadalcanal pretty quickly. Let's just try to keep up the 600x. Okay, this is 6x destroyers. So what I, I mean, with the transports moving out, what we'll do is we'll actually shift. So ignore this. I'll shift my carrier task force a little bit further away. And what I'd like to do is... I'd like to just use Vela Lavella as like a spotting, <laughs> to, so just see if it, whatever's coming around here. So we'll just shift, maybe southeast, just, we're, we're in strike range for wh whatever. Just keep targets out of the way. Okay, and looks like we have other people joining here, so let's get Thresher to shift um, down here, just so I have better visibility for a little bit longer on what they're doing. Actually, so let's do a, a swap like this. You here. You just a little bit up, so we have a little bit better visibility. And you move right between the two, so we have visibility there. Okay, good. And that, then we'll have um, submarines really marking all the different areas that we're going to find destroyers traveling, I, I think, at least. Did we completely wipe out this destroyer group? I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that somebody on my staff would tell me such a thing, but I don't know. Now, the alternative is we might have actually got these destroyers to go further. This one looks like it's really just going for it. Nope, coming back. Oh, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, like I said, we're not worried about the retaliation because at this point, I believe that there won't be a retaliation. Let's do two attacks. It's down to one. Okay, so let's move you out. Same thing. We'll move these guys a little bit further west just because it is uh, slightly more dangerous to be... Leaving, we want a, a greater avoidance area of Cape, Hops, Cape Hoskins. And can you do shore bombardment here? Here, Oh, you can. Oh, okay, they're already done. So now you as well will head out, down. Okay, that's good. So yeah, we, we do have technically two bombardments in one and one bombardment in another that could be used on Cape Hoskins. We could even... Wait how close would it be uh it's too much so five hours they'll be able to launch in three and a half hours this would be pretty risky yeah i don't i don't think we're gonna do it especially because the big boys from rabul yeah we don't want that to happen okay so we've shut down their ability to do anything at, um at least at cape gloucester just completely eliminated their air detection all that stuff and i forgot to give you an order to not as worried about it. I mean, again, I don't think the AI is this clever. Shame, a shame to say that, but it seems to be the truth. Okay, yeah, these destroyers are just patrolling around the mouth. Doesn't seem like that bad of a. Oh, you're ready to go, but boy, we just six eight six nine. I wonder if there's been any change in that. We're gonna also have to edit. So two seven five is there. Since we have exactly two thousand seven hundred fifty troops here, we know exactly when the combat time ticks over i don't i've like never looked exactly what time it is maybe noon but we'll know because this is a nice perfect number and we we're expecting to lose some people because that's not this ratio is obviously probably something more like three or four to one um not like infinity to one essentially it's like uh, about a hundred to one in guadalcanal they have 70 troops and i have 7,000. It's math not too difficult there so we'll keep going yeah and i think we will just hang out <laughs> Just waiting to collect whatever extra troops and stuff and throw them into Florida Island. Or to maneuver them to New Georgia and... Hey, I mean, it's really cool that we're starting to take these places. Maybe we should even put in an invasion of Shortland Islands. I've been planning to do a build-up of Russell. 
What if we just shift that over to Shortland Islands instead? Because there's no reason not to. They start at the same point. We both have a level one harbor, so. Yeah, it seems like it's doable. Um, we're pretty soon gonna have the ability to launch. Do we even wanna launch aircraft? I would say no. I'm gonna say no. Oh, you are probably ready to drop off troops. You are. Perfect. And we could take 400 of that supply back. Um, is it overkill? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll, we'll take it back. I don't really know what we'll be able to do with it, but... Manage cargo, just take some of that supply back. So 250 is still like a bad ratio. But this is, again, this is the problem with the not being able to do like a slider of swords. I'd like to just drop like a thousand, four to one. Anyways, let's get you guys to head back over to the Florida Islands, I guess, to drop off the rest. Wait, yeah, we don't have any more troops here, so we want you to head just actually just generally this way. Because I'm not sure, I might want to go over and pick up some of the extra troops at Guadalcanal and use, use you guys as a like a speed runner to go drop off troops somewhere else. But we actually, I mean, the map is becoming completely blue starred. Let me just take away aircraft and... Yeah, I mean, basically, once we take New Georgia, we will own everything except for the two contested. This is really cool. Like, from a strategic standpoint, this is really cool. It's just, if it was more of a challenge to do this, but painting the map is always satisfying, I have to say. Okay, back to it then. Very productive episode this will be. And the best part about it is knowing that we don't have to worry about these destroyers. Okay, air operations are available. Yeah, we got them pretty far away. Um, these kingfishers looks like they should be slaughtered, but that's fine. I'm not really interested in doing even air combat, so let's just try to get them out of the air zones as fast as possible. Six destroyers, four destroyers. Again, I'm just not worth. It's not worth it for me to do any of those. To deal with any of those. Um. Yeah. So we'll just keep going. I'm trying to. Feel who is? Stopped. Okay, enemy ships spotted near Wildcat. Okay, then this is... Good lord, eight destroy... You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. If we kept an eye on them, could we avoid having to interact with them? I mean, that's a pity, pretty big group to have to deal with. I think I'm gonna have to start doing air operations against this group. Ignore... God, so stupid. Okay, launch aircraft. Just start launching Dauntlesses at this group. We'll take them out one at a time. Eight missions. It's a long time, but start thinning them out. Okay, let's do this quickly, though. Don't even stop to do this. Break form up. Okay, there they are. Just grab something which looks like it's a good, valuable target to take. Which, you know, there's not many of them left. Okay, this looks like a Fubuki. Give me the Fubukis. Identify. And... We're pretty close. I don't know how this is going to work, but... Let's go, drop, get out. We might lose some. I mean, it's eight destroyers. It's going to be a pretty good defensive screen. Okay. And... Do we have any... Fair enough. Switch over to our Fubuki. Target. Can we see our aircraft yet? Yeah. There they are. This one doesn't look like it's going to be formed up in time. So that's one, two, three. Oh no, this is one, two, and then third one is missing. And then one, two, three. No smoke so far. That's a lot of tracer fire. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of tracer fire. I do like the fact that we are sending all 12 against them. Because that is seems to be really effective. And it's sinking, and we leave in five seconds. Man, we've got this 
really calmed down. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so RTB, and we, I guess we're we gonna have to shift a little bit. Just gotta we gotta keep them at arm's length at least. Um, more more submarines. I don't think that they're gonna get into into the area AO in time, but. I have to say, it would be nice to get some more. Let's just get the Gatos at this point. Who cares? Wait, are they both 10 point? Yeah. I think I was doing it for, like, historically there would be more Timbers in the area, but Gatos, 1943. No, I, yeah, there would be more Timbers, I guess. We'll take the Greenling then. Sure. Done. Of course. I don't think you'll get into the fight in time, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll see. Hornet is ready to launch. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. By the way, is it ticked? Nope, still hasn't ticked. I think, yeah, the idea is going to be, again, to send everyone over here. We'll just break them up into different groups. So that'll take you another 10 hours. I have another 10 hours to decide what I want to do with them. Okay, we do need to launch this before the new ones come in. I'm gonna just use even 11. It's better than, in my opinion. Oh, there they are. Kind of don't need to worry about it, do we? They moved away, thankfully. Tactical. Okay, start. I still will break off these two into their own group. All right, pick off another one. I guess, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. We could probably go for some of the non-newer ones. Oh, okay. So we have a Shiratsuyu or whatever it is. No, it's the... Uh, what's this one called? Ah, oh, it was the Shiratsuyu. Okay. Got lucky. Okay, identify and attack. 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 I'll just have Fortnite die by themselves, it's fine. Okay, go. We'll see what happens. There they are. I mean, if I, what would you do even if you were a Japanese destroyer or captain? Yeah, I mean, if you know that you're just being thrown, like, worthless, your 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 contribution is zero. <laughs> All right, we have some good hits here. The other ones don't even need to come in. They will. Ask for them to come and get the job done. Wow, we're able to speed up at the end there. That's bizarre. Okay, let's get ready to retreat. Wow. It's a well-oiled machine, this, this process. Alright, so we keep going. We're waiting for the tick. Will it be 70? I hope it's at least 70 units. I don't know why it's telling me Indianapolis is ready. I don't really care. Okay, yeah, you guys are going home because you have no ammunition. Okay, is there, there's that one. It's down to six. I mean, six destroyers, we just leave it. If it's not going any place, I don't care about. Yeah, it was, it's like what, investigating? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, we're just trying to end things as quickly as possible here. Oh, okay. This is, I would say this is worth paying attention to though. Plenish. Now they call it rearm. Is that, has it always been rearm? I don't think so. It'll be a long time until you get back, but still probably worth it to give you orders. Okay, something like that. So we got all these destroyers trapped up here. It's perfect. It's exactly what I want. In fact, forget about Hornet even launching. The name of the game is not, at this point, Sink More Destroyers. And there's something to be said, by the way, about sinking too many. Enemy losses. What are they at? We have no idea. I haven't checked this in a long time. 
Okay, they have 186. Holy crap, 186 total ships sunk. And look at the last log. Like, let's just start slowly scrolling up. Look at all these destroyers. On the 18th of August alone, they lost. I mean, that's gotta be. That's gotta be like 40 destroyers. Maybe like 30 destroyers in a single day. 19th of August, I mean, I, I guess things have slowed down, but 18th of August was a horrendous day if you're a Japanese destroyer. Okay, let's keep scrolling. 17th was also horrible for them. 16, a little bit better. 15, bad. I mean, this is just, can you believe that it's, it's, it's this is crazy that this game started on, I guess, August 7th. And here we are, it's, it's like exactly two weeks. In exactly two weeks, we've sunk a hundred and eighty Japanese ships. It's just stupid. Obviously just stupid. Okay, we've got them stuck into their patrol pattern. This is good. We have more troops arriving. I don't even know what we should do with these. Um, Just waiting for the Guadalcanal to take over. I guess we'll get you to drop off stuff on Guadalcanal as well. So we can finish upgrading. Wait, wait this is... Fuel and engineering is only one. But you do have troops as well. So do we want to take off, like siphon off some troops from Guadalcanal? Oh my god, it happened and it didn't... So by the way, how many troops did we lose? Alright, something is very wonky about this. So we lost 50 troops in a situation where we have about 3 to Let's just guess 3 to 1. I'm assuming that they lost more than 50 because otherwise something doesn't make sense right why would superior forces anyway they're saying that although i lost 50 troops with a three to one advantage they didn't lose 70 troops is it just a fixed number is it a random roll of the dice like oh between 50 and 100 just roll a number a, a d50 add 50 to it and that's the number of troops you lose i have no idea what the heck is it? But now we're gonna have to wait one more day, I guess. Let's try to, I mean, 30 minutes in, damn. Let's try to do it though. Just gonna have all these guys hang out. I don't have, I really don't know what else we would have them do. Okay, slow down just so I can get this order off. <laughs> and we're gonna have you not get too close either. I just wanna be able to click the different units. I know I could cycle through with F7, but... Okay. Let's have you go and sit here, because this is where they came through before, so let's just have a little bit better visibility. Um, you're on your way back. Okay, so everything's fine. I guess we'll just get these guys to go home. didn't want to go fall along the coast, but then whatever. Stupid, stupid pathfinding. Might as well get all of them to refit. I don't know which ones. I could stop and take a second to look, but that's more than I care t to do. Okay, very good. Go. On your way, lads. Look at this. It's working! It's working! The destroyer trap is working! And we have good vision of new people coming in. Alright. We're in good shape. <laughs> Actually, you... I do want you to go land on Guadalcanal. Sorry. I do want you to land on Guadalcanal because... Okay, let's move you guys. Just do separate them a little bit more. You go here, you pull back just a smidge, and you need to go all the way in. Good, that's good. Now go all the way in. Okay, so I need you to get troops. Uh, unload your stupid supply, doesn't matter. And then, okay, good. 
So, manage cargo, unload your supply, and we get troops instead. So we'll take 250 off, take 2,000, and you guys will go run and conquer the last of, of the gray stars. Okay, 13 hours until that's done. Speed along. Get along, little doggy. Whew. It's just gonna have a cluster foxtrot of crap here. So 250, 12, this is a lot of troops. These are gonna be destined for Florida Island. There's no other conflict. Unless... It's not enough supply for a big invasion. So yeah, I think what we're waiting for... So I, what I'm gonna do now, I've decided... Once Guadalcanal falls, we're gonna just load up a ton, empty whatever we don't need, and then gather up a ton of troops and supply for Shortland Islands. Well, first we gotta ferry them across the way to Florida, but let's get the Florida action going in another four hours. By the way, what time was it that the clock ticked on that? Uh, it was probably, I'm guessing it was around, um, to, around noon, right? Are you? Flippin' kidding me? I hate this game. Damn it. Well, I mean, it's, this is nice. It's clever that they did this. But it's just gonna require a response, and I don't want to respond. Uh, it's probably faster. It might actually be faster to build a new um, fleet, but it's, <clears throat> it's fine. We'll we'll just I will edit this. Out. Unfortunately, it's really cool. This is what I would like to have been responding to stuff like this uh, I'm gonna wave my hand a little bit here and say if I was doing my search patterns more diligently This might not have happened it might have So we'll just let it happen there. They will I'm assuming invade Okay, good. Oh my gosh <laughs> Well, it looks like we're going to have to stop this video before noontime, because that is a hell of a lot of trips. Actually, we don't even need to, because we're not expecting to lose 250. In fact, I want to leave it until at least one cycle has happened. I'd like to see what... Um, eh, this is cool. This is great, right? This That this happened. I would like to see what exactly they, they do. And then I will, unfortunately, go mod smash them by eliminating their presence in the save game file. Okay, so you did, you got here, and we want you to manage cargo. Drop off troops, drop off troops, and drop off supplies. Actually, this is probably the perfect thing. So yeah, I mean, what I would like to do in theory is be able to control the number of troops. What would be a safe amount? I think 250 might be enough, but I would probably be more comfortable with 500. This will give us a day or two, right? And we'll find out exactly what that value is. Okay, cool. So they are gonna try to evade which means this will be fun. Well, not really, it's four destroyers. I don't even care about chasing them down, you know? We'll do it, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. So main question will be how many troops are left? I don't think that they take us um, immediately, so we'll just figure it out. Could do B-17s, I guess that's, that, look at I haven't used B-17s enough, so let's just go ahead and get these guys Let's do the 2,000 pound bombs. I think there's gonna be enough range no matter what. Let's go over this way. I probably do need to scout, unfortunately, so let's start scouting. It's the walruses anyway, it's kind of goofy. Oh my god, their endurance is terrible. <laughs> Damn you. All right, so do we have anybody else with the ability to launch over here? Yeah, I guess New Hebrides is gonna have to launch some... Oh my god, I can't. It'll be at the limit, but okay, so we went to this point here. Oh, which point was it? Let's just send one earlier. And then probably one up to that dot. Let's see if we can catch him. If one of those gets them, great. If not, oh well. Convoy Rabbit, you have troops, supply, and lots of... Okay, so you're headed for Guadalcanal. 
So we'll send you into the holding pattern off of Guadalcanal. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know if these walruses are going to be worth launching. Not yet, at least. Oh man, not again. Let's hope that they do the same thing. As in, go north. When they don't find anything here. Just in case they're going to a last known position, I will move a little bit further east. Nope, looks like they are just doing some kind of exact pattern. Huh, we lost them. Which again is cool. Gotta find them though. So I've covered this distance. They shouldn't be as fast. You would think that they would be like here. We need to send more sweeps. Well, I don't know. I guess let's just try to send. Let's try to get them. Let's see. Is it seven? No, six. Thank you. Um, let's do something like this. Oh, they're heading back. Alright, well, too late then. Oh my gosh, we got lucky. Very cool. Okay, so, for Jim Minson, I'm actually just going to save here, and I will uh, do the dive bombing, and, or the level bombing, or maybe, maybe it'll be skip bombing. I don't know yet. We'll do it in the next episode, though. Reminders to myself, what do I need to do? I need to, I can't edit this yet because I want to see how much damage they do to 250 troops. Just because I want to get a sense, like this, it looks about the same overwhelming. Like they outnumber me as much as the ratio goes. Um, so we've seen, I think a difference between even three and four, and four to one. So I'm expecting that this is more like could be like 10 to 1 and we only have 250 troops they'd only have to have landed with 10 transports they probably do have like five or six thousand troops or could be even more than that um i, I mean with supplies let's see if they had 10 and they split it like four six this would be six thousand troops it's a lot of troops uh oh no 1250 not 1500 so it would be five thousand troops so if they have 5,000 troops here, then they outnumber me 20 to 1. Uh, yep, that's going to be that That's gonna be that ratio. So let's just see how many troops I lose, because obviously we're going to lose less than 70, I would presume. Uh, just because the enemy on Guadalcanal, with 101 odds, lost less than 70. So let's find out what that happens, but we'll do all that in the next video for now. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.